Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, I will be talking about a model bag. If you don't know what a model bag is, I'm going to help you out today. So a model bag is basically a bag full of stuff that you keep in your car when you go to a casting call, go see, um, or anything dealing with trying to book a gig. So in your model bag, Mine is pretty small right now. This was my like first model bag. And when I tell you that I was not prepared at all when I went to my first official fitting, casting. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why I was not prepared because the shoes that I have in my current bag right now I do not have what I need, you know. I mean, I have like, it'll work, but it's not what I need. Like if I, like if things didn't work out in my favor, like when I went to the fitting, um, the designer didn't have her garment made yet. So it works in my favor. Like I didn't have to do a shoot, a, a test shoot that day. I didn't have to do anything today. So everything worked out in my favor. So today, I took it upon myself to go ahead and buy all the things I need for my model bag. And I'm going to help you with what you need for your model bag. Okay, like I said in the beginning, a model bag is a bag full of stuff that you need. You need when you go to a casting, fitting, test shoot, everything, okay? So first things first in your model bag. Like this bag, it's not going to work. I might have to get like a duffel bag or something because this is not gonna work for all that I have so in your model bag you need your makeup okay that's first you don't need a palette you don't need all these colors all these different lipsticks none of that what you really need is like your foundation concealer mascara um, some blush eyebrow pencil um, and yeah, I mean, I have some shadows in here, but the shadows that I have is pretty neutral. They're neutral. So, it's nothing like outrageous, okay? Because I'm pretty sure they'll have a makeup artist for you if they're going for like a specific look. If you're going to like a test shoot, you're most likely going to be doing your own makeup. I mean, unless they want something specific for that, they'll probably have a makeup artist. Okay, I have my, like I said, let me go ahead and open it. So I have my blush. You don't need no expensive stuff, okay? The whole purpose of this video is not only to let you know what you need in your model bag, but it's also so that way the things that you have are affordable, okay? You don't need to like ball out with this because you are not going to be, like if you're doing an actual photo shoot, they'll have a stylist there for you, okay? When you go to a runway show, you're going to be styled. This is just the stuff that you need in order to book the gig, okay? So you don't need to spend a lot of money on everything. So I have my Milani blush, okay? Some mascara, some Wet n Wild eyeshadow, my CoverGirl foundation, my brushes and my eyebrow pencil and brush that's it that's really all you need and some chapstick that's it you do not need a whole bunch of colors different type of lip glosses lipsticks all of that you don't need that and now i will tell you make sure when you have your stuff do not buy the incorrect color. Make sure you're, that is your true color, okay? And a way to test that out, and I will go ahead and show you. And my actual 
I don't even use this for my mascara, my little mascara, my foundation. Hold on. I just realized that I'm missing, I have a silica, I don't use brushes, okay? Everyone uses the sponge. I use actually a silicone thing. It's, it's nice. But that's what I was saying. So to test out the um, foundation, okay? First off, you need to shake it, okay? I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand, on my finger. This is how you test it out, okay? You put it on your, see that? You put it on there, okay? And what you wanna do, use that. See how like it blends, see that? It blends in perfectly, okay? That's what you want. Like, even if I, like, get a closer look, okay, it blends in perfectly. That's what you want. That's what you need, okay? Do not get something. Yeah, that's, that's definitely my color. Do not buy... Okay, basically, don't try to contour, okay? Do not contour because when you go to a casting... And I actually seen girls do this. They are contoured up for a casting call. You don't need that. You're supposed to really go with the natural look. Think of the natural look how Jordan looked at her round table talk. That's what you're supposed to look like. Natural. Make it look like as if you don't have any makeup on. Okay. Moving on to the next. Undergarments. Undergarments is serious that is really what you need so i have specific underwear for my for my um i have specific underwear for my model bag okay you i don't need all this what you really need is a black a nude and a white that's it i bought the variety pack I mean, I already have nude underwear. I really don't have any more black and I don't have any white. So this is what you need. You need this in your model bag. Okay. Secondly, for undergarments, you need bras. Okay, you need a black and you need a nude. Okay, you, do not, you guys don't have to spend a lot of money on this stuff. Okay, I literally rent two bras. For my undergarments, for my bras, went to Marshalls for my underwear. I'm not spent, like you guys don't need to spend a lot of money. I'm telling you, you don't need to spend a lot of money on this stuff. Okay. Save your receipts also. This is a tax write-off. Also, when you go to a casting, if you don't know this already, you wear either a black tank top, black spaghetti strap, or a black t-shirt. You can also wear a white t-shirt, white spaghetti strap, white tank top, okay? Black or white shirts, okay? Make sure your pants are skinny jeans, okay? If you have a really skinny waist, wear a high-waisted pant, high-waisted jeans, okay? Also for undergarments, okay? When I went to my fitting, I spoke to a designer and everything, and she says... You know, that she needs her models to have these. These are basically to cover up your nipples, okay? They look like little, little cullets, okay? Go to Charlotte Russe. Charlotte Russe is closing. They have a sale going on. So instead of paying $13 for this, I paid 8 okay? Nipple pasties. You can also just, you know, get the regular pasties from Walmart. I was already at the mall anyways because I was finding the shoes. The shoes is another important thing, okay? So we got the undergarments out of the way. Nude, black, everything, okay? Your tank tops, t-shirts, whatever. It needs to be fitted. It needs to be tight. Also needs to be in black and white. And your jeans have to be skinny. You have a skinny waist wear high-waisted jeans okay next things next 
Okay. You need four pairs of shoes. Okay, four pairs. Four pairs of shoes. Okay, and we're gonna go through these shoes together. All right, so another thing. I got these shoes from Payless, okay? Do not be above your means, okay? I mean, yes, I would have loved to go to Aldo to get my shoes, but I'm not about to pay $400 on four pairs of shoes for shoes that I'm not going to wear all the time. You are literally only going to wear these shoes for test shoots, for fittings, and for casting calls that is it you're not going to be walking the runway in these or any of that okay so let me show you what i had in my model bag so when i went to my first casting these are the heels that i had yes they're fine these are now just going to be my practice heels when i walk at home and everything they were fine. They're black, which is what you need. But they agencies really don't want you wearing these. It has a lot of going. It has a lot going on. Okay, it has just a lot of straps. I mean, they're cool and all, but that's not what you're supposed to have. Okay, Payless is your friend, especially right now because the stores are closing. Okay, so. This is one of the first pairs of shoes you need. You need a pump. They need to be minimum four inches. Okay. You really don't need nothing higher. Four inches, four to five, four inches mainly is how much height you need. You need a nude and you need a black. You need both. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. I went to my fitting recently and... They were trying on clothes, they were trying on the dresses and everything. And the model, she had, you know, a black shoe, okay? The black shoe did not go with what she was trying on for the test shoe. So she needed to change it to a nude, okay? You need your pump. And you also need your strap. You need your regular heel, okay? This is the kind of heel you need. If it's going to have straps, this is the kind you need. It has to have the one strap across and the one holding your ankle. Okay. And again, you need it in a nude and black. Okay. These are your friends. These are going to help you. Okay. I went... Oh, and another thing. Okay, so... I wear... Like a nine and a half, nine, depending on a shoe. Now, if you guys don't know the rule to heels, if it's an open toe, open toe, which is this, you need a like. So I can wear, I mean, wear like a nine and a half. Okay. So for this, I bought a nine. Why? Because you have more room in it, and it's just if I if I bought this in a nine and a half, my foot will be slipping. Okay, because it's open toe so it's just you have you have a lot more room in this than you would in a pump okay so for these also okay it's basic it is simple that is what you need four inch do not get nothing smaller than four inches do not go higher do not get a platform heel it needs to be flat at the bottom okay I went to Charlotte Roos and Charlotte Roos had a beautiful strap ankle heel that I wanted but it had a little platform at it so I could not get it this is what you need four inches okay so in my um ankle strap heels I bought a size nine okay because you have more room to maneuver in it. If I would have bought a nine and a half, my toes would be 
slipping a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put these up. Okay, and my pumps, I bought these in a nine and a half. I could have went with a nine, but when you try these shoes on, especially compare it, okay? I want you to do it for yourself. When you put these on, if I would have bought a nine, yes, they would have fit, but they would have been too tight. So I bought a nine and a half, and they're tight, they fit, they will not slip, okay? I have some black pumps in my car, okay, that I used when I first you know, started walking and all that stuff. They were a size 10, okay? Yes, they fit. As soon as I put them on, they fit great. But the moment I started walking and started sweating, my toes would slip all the way to the top. So I would have to keep like hitting my heel on the back of the floor so that way I can get my heel to push back. That is why you need to get your correct size and heels, especially if you're doing castings and everything. You need your correct size, okay? Specifically so the way your feet won't be slipping when you're doing a model walk for casting and everything for designers. And you're wondering why you have the wrong size shoe, okay? I'm trying to help you guys out, okay? Now, I spent... How much did I spend today on buying all this? I probably spent maybe less than $250 on getting all this stuff. The four pairs of shoes, the underwear, the bras, the pasties. I probably spent like probably $250 or less on all that. Okay, I could have spent way more. Again, like I said, you don't need name brand shoes for your model bag. Okay, this stuff you're literally going to keep in the trunk of your car in case like your agency or manager or whoever calls you saying they have a casting for you. This is so the way you don't have to drive all the way home, get dressed and all that. You have everything on you so you really can just like pull up real quick, do your fix your makeup in the car, pull out your shoes and whatnot and be ready to go. Okay. I, I went to call it spring. I don't know if you guys have it around here, here in Houston. Um, out there in Willowbrook Mall, there's a store called Call It Spring. It is the sister store to Aldo, okay? So, I got these. They're probably $40 a piece for these shoes, okay? Like I said, Payless is closing. I got both of these for a total price of like 56 okay trust me if they would have had the other shoe like i wanted they did but they don't have it in my size i would have saved me a hundred dollars okay underwear bought this variety pack for eleven dollars my bras i spent 30 something on it okay another thing for bras okay so they didn't have my exact size, but I remember when I used to go, oh my gosh, my makeup doesn't come off. Oh, awesome. Okay. So when I used to go get fitted like a years back, um, Victoria's Secret, they fitted me for a specific size. And I was just like, that's not the size that I normally buy. And they was like, oh, this is, you know, it's about the same. So... Let's say you wear a 34 double D, okay? If, like, if you do what I did, went to Marshalls or Ross or Dee Dee's or something, and they don't have your size, you can go up to a 36 D, which is equivalent to a 34 double D, okay? You'll just have a little bit, you know, more room around your rib cage, but of course, that's why you have the straps the hooks to you know make it form fitting okay so that's a hack for that um oh another another thing in your model bag you always need to have your um comp cards with you 
okay if you even if you aren't signed to an agency go get some professional photos done okay get you a leather presentation book um and put like the little photo protector things and print out all those professional photos that you got done and put it in that binder and take it with you always okay so that way you'll be ready you don't want to pull up to a casting yes even though they did request you even though they probably seen your pictures you still need to have that with you okay another thing is if you aren't signed to an agency you don't have a comp card you need to have your measurements you need to have know your height you need to know that right off the back like right i can tell you my measurements right off the back i know them you have to know them Okay, same thing when you go to a runway casting. Yes, they see your measurements on your comm card, but they want to know if you know them, basically. They're going to ask you for that, even though they can clearly read it. They're going to ask you for that. So know all that. Get all that stuff done, okay? That is all that I have for you guys. That's really all that you need in your model bag. You don't need any more than that. Again, you need your comm card. You need black and white t-shirt, tank top, or spaghetti shop. Jeans. Dark jeans. No rips. Okay? Skinny at that. You need your nipple pasties. You need your nude and black bra. You need your nude and black underwear. You need your four pairs of shoes. Okay? Nude and black. You need your makeup bag. And did I say nipple pasties? And that's it that's all you need okay that's it you only need those things okay yes the price tag does add up but you'll be making your money back and you only need to buy this stuff one time you do not have to keep buying all that stuff okay that is it um i hope that i helped you guys out a lot if you guys have any more questions comment message me whatever don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel